showing off your power supply in your case is like Marmite. You either like to do it or you don't. Regardless of which way, you obviously need one. And this is the latest and greatest from Be Quiet, the Straight Power 12. ATX3 compliant, so you can support with the latest 40 series cards without using one of those adapters. And they do a 750 all the way up to 1500 watts. This is also 80 plus platinum certified as well, so you can save yourself some money in your electric bills. You've got a whopping 10 year warranty and a massive single 12 watt rail. So if you look at the overclock, this could be really stable for that. Pricing will be about 180 to 220 euros, dollars, pounds. Pricing is a little bit up and down because it's a fairly new unit. But I think we need to open the box, show you what's included and see if it's actually going to be worth it. So now I've got all the contents of the box out on the desk. I'll give you a bit of a run through of what we've got. So first up, we've got the power plug. This will be region dependent and of course you'll get the correct one for where you live. This one just came from Germany directly from Be Quiet. So that's why I've got an EU one. We've got our user manual covers from 750 up to 1500 watts. We've got some zip ties and then our case screws. And then of course our cables. First of all, the cable braid is nice and tight. You can see through it if you, you know, bunch it together, but all the cables underneath are black anyway, so you're not gonna see any colors through it. So pretty good in that regard. Nice seat shrink, and of course we've got the different connectors. One thing I really like about Be Quiet power supplies is they use different connectors on the ends that goes into the power supply to other manufacturers. So you won't end up with a cable that's got two ends the same and you have to look to see which one goes in which. It can only go in one way. So we've got the 24 pin that does break out to 20 plus four if you need it. Personally, if you're still running a 20 pin motherboard, you uh, might want to upgrade by now. We've got two EPS connectors, one of which is a four plus four, so you can break it out if you're using an eight and a four, which a lot of the less power intensive motherboards do have. For our graphics cards, we've got two cables, both of which have got two six plus two. So you've got a total of up to four eight pins on this. Then of course we have got our 600 watt, 12 volt high power cable, or the 16 pin specifically. It does have the sense pins on there as well for any graphics card that do require them. But nice weighty cable, nice braiding on there as well and black cables underneath. If you're using a 40 series card, this is obviously the one you're going to be using. Also a quick side note, if you're going to get the 1200 or the 1500 watt variant of this power supply, you'll actually get two 600 watt cables, not just one. So you can power a couple of graphics cards that are 40 series rather than just one. Then last but not least, we've got some peripheral ones. So we've got loads of SATA and Molex. There is actually a cable, if I can find it, Molex and SATA on the same thing. So this is really great for one reason that I can think of straight out off the bat is that some of the RGB controllers still have Molex power. So the Razer Chroma one is one that springs to mind. So you can even do a, an external hard drive and your controller all in one cable. Saves having to put in another whole lot of four just for the sake of one device. So both on one, really a fan of that. Let's actually look at the power supply. So first off the bat, we've got a 135 mil silent wings fan. It also has a kind of funneled design on there as well to try and draw in more air. Whether that works in practice or not, I'm not really too sure. On the back, we've just got power input and a switch. There's no eco mode button on this power supply, but as far as I know, this doesn't spin the fan under low load anyway. On the sides, we've got a Be Quiet on one, and then we have got the rails and things on the other side. Also where the information about those rails are, if you're actually putting this fan side down, which most cases will be nowadays, you'll actually have all the rail information if you've got a PSU shroud cutout. So just a quick thing to mention, it would be nice to have a little additional sticker or something to put so you don't have to see all the information. So then to the business end, you can see all those connections that I mentioned. And to go back on what I said before, all of the connections that go into the power supply are different from the actual connectors on the motherboard. So you won't get them the other way around. So the PCIe, for example, these are 12 pins, whereas obviously on the end they go to six plus two. So you're not gonna get those modeled up. The PCIe 5 or the ATX3 is the same both sides, so that doesn't matter. But then as you can see for the drives, so your SATA power, those again are different. The P8, which is your EPS, is different again. And then your motherboard has got, looks like an eight, and then a 16. So actually a great power supply for anyone building their first PC as you physically can't put the cables in the wrong way around. So that was a look at the Be Quiet Straight Power 12. I will be using this in the build with some other Be Quiet components soon. So stay tuned to get subscribed and do the bell so you don't miss that. But first impressions, very, very good. As I mentioned, I'm not like to any Be Quiet products on the channel yet. So I'm very impressed by my kind of first impressions. Loads of different options with your cables. Of course, 30 series and 40 series are covered with a straight through. 12 watt high power cable and don't forget you have got the additional one on the high wattage models if you're wacky enough to put more than one 40 series card in the pc so i'm gonna leave it there thank you all for watching thank you to be quite since out for me to look at links will be in the description box if you want to pick one up any more comments or questions leave them down below thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one